Okay, so question one. Write down an algebraic expression for 2 plus x. It is simply 2 plus x. That's all that there is to it. Next, uh, an algebraic expression for x minus y. So it is just x minus y. So these are just some of our warm-up questions. Next, a, a plus 2b plus again for c. That's all. Yeah, where are we supposed to go? What do you mean? Where are we supposed to go? What do you mean by where are you supposed to go? You're supposed to watch this video now. I don't see anything. Is there anybody who can see what I'm writing on the screen? I can. I can. can see. Okay. I can see. So, who is the one who cannot see? Yeah. Can you toggle around your speaker view, gallery view, so that you can see the screen that I'm sharing right now? Yeah, I cannot see question one. Because I already moved on from question one. Okay. How about the rest? Anybody else? Any issues with seeing the chat screen? Okay, if not, we'll continue with question four now. So one to three, very simple, or addition only. Now question four, subtract y from five. So we take away y from something. From where? From five. So this is what we are expecting as the answer, five minus y. So similarly, subtract one from seven x. You take away one from something, from seven x. So you can do this by yourself, question six. You can do question seven by yourself. You can do question eight by yourself also. And the next question, number nine. Now we have multiplication times, nine times P. It's just nine P. We, okay, before this, uh, you might have written nine times P, but when we express our final answer, it'll be nine P. So X times Y, you can do it yourself. Divide, now we are doing a division. One divided by Y. Now, if I ask you to take 10 divided by two, you will write five, right? So another way of writing 10 divided by two is 10 over five. This is called 10 divided, sorry, 10 divided by two. 10 divided by two, and you still get five. So now the question is divide one by y. So it will be one over y. Okay, next, m divided by six n. m over six n. Okay, now, um, yeah, 13, 3s divided by 5t. Um, Sha, can you help us with this question 13? Unmute yourself, tell me what I should write. Uh, 3s over 5t. Very good, 3s over 5t. Next one, now. Um, Ashari, what do we have as the answer for question 14? Uh, G over 13. Very good. G over 13. Okay, let's uh, continue. Reynard, question 15. 5GH. 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 Okay, correct. Um, let's see. Huh? Patricia, can you give us an alternative solution? I can use 5HG. Very good. 5HG. Uh, Mr. One? Wong, I didn't, yes. Mr. Wong, I didn't catch uh, question 13 and 14. You didn't what? I didn't copy question 13 and 14. You don't... Uh, you, I'm not expecting you to copy. La. As long as you know how to do it, it's fine. Okay? It's more important to understand. Huh? But I've shown you already. La. Okay, now, now question um, 16. E times F times 10. Okay, you can do it by yourself. Next one, 17. Divide 4s by t. Um, Chloe, what do we have? Divide 4s by t. Chloe, are you there? Yeah. 
4s over t. 4s over t. Who was that? Who was talking? Chloe, is that you? Yeah. Okay, 4s over t. Thank you. Okay, now we get to something a little bit more complicated. So we are supposed to multiply x. So there's an x times something. Multiply x to something. The sum of y and 7. What does the sum of y and 7 mean? Um, e Ray, can you help us? What does the sum of y and 7 mean? Mm. What does y, sum of y and 7 mean? Means x plus y7. No, no. Um, listen carefully, yeah? I'm saying. What does this portion mean? The sum of y and 7. What does it mean? Mm. For example, if I say the sum of 1 and 3 is 4. The sum oh. of 10 and 20 is 30. So what is the sum of y and 7? It means you plus. Plus? Okay, what plus what? Sum means plus, oh. yes. But what plus what? 7 plus y. Correct. The sum of y and 7 means y plus 7. But that's not all they want us to do to this. They want us to multiply multiply x to the sum of 7 and y. So now we're going to multiply this by x. So x multiply by. And we do not need to put the multiplication sign. We can simply remove it and it becomes x times of y plus 7. Are there any questions? No? Okay, let's move on to the next one. Question 19. Question 19, okay, now uh, add 9, 2. Add 9, 2. So we take 9 plus something, okay, plus what? Plus the square of S. So, um, Emma, what does the square of S mean? Emma? Emma, what does the square of S mean? Now I'm giving you all the option to turn off your camera. Huh? But if I suspect that you are not paying attention, and if you take a long time to reply, I will assume that you are not at your table. Then we'll make everybody turn on the cameras. Emma, are you there? Yeah. Emma? Yeah. What does the square of S mean? Is it good? Okay, so let me help you out a little bit. Huh? When I say the square of 5, I mean 5 times 5. Or we can say 5 squared. Or we can say 5 to the power of 2. So when I say the square of y, then it will be y squared. Or y times y. Or y to the power of 2. There are three different ways of saying it. So Emma, what is the square of S? Um, S square? S square, yes. The square of S is just S square. S square. 
But that's not the end of the question. It says add 9 to. We need to add 9 to something. So we just have the final answer as 9 plus S squared. Any questions so far? Okay, if not, we move on to question 20. Multiply X to the cube of Y. The cube of Y, huh? Okay, so Rayan, what does the cube of Y mean? Why? So why can't I walk? Why continue? I need y cube. This is just y. Y cube? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I accidentally said the answer for you. Good thing that you caught it, huh? So we have y cube and we're supposed to do something to it. So Rayon, since I helped you just now, can you complete this question? Multiply x to the cube of y. So what do we have? Y cube times x. Okay, how should we write it? Do we need to write the multiplication sign? Uh, yes. So you mean you want me to write it like this? Or do you think we can remove the multiplication sign? Uh, I think we should remove it. You remove it, okay. So now we have this as the answer, y cubed x. Now Indra, can you give me an alternative answer? Uh, x, y cubed. Correct. Okay, next one. Question 21. Divide the sum of m and 2 by 3. Divide the sum of m and two. Okay, now Marilyn, can you help us with this portion? What does the sum of M and two mean? Five seconds, if no answer, everybody turn on camera already, huh? Five. Four, three. M plus two. Yes. M plus two. That is the sum. Very good. Now we're supposed to divide this sum by a number. What are we going to divide this by, Marilyn? Really? Um... What are we supposed to divide the sum by? Three. Yes, okay. So we put over 3. And that's it. Divide the sum of m and 2 by 3. Okay, question 22. Do it by yourself. Question 23. Mm, let's see. Uh. Human. Human, can you help us with this? P minus 10, then divide by Q. How do we start? Human. Same thing, uh, uh, five seconds. Ten of, is it 10 over Q? Oh, read carefully first. Uh. What did they say? Don't be stressed. What does the second line say for question 23? Uh, ten, 10 over P. No, no, no. Read, read the second line. Or Q divided by 10. No, read Q. the second line. What does the second line start with? Second line. Then divide by Q. So you are reading the second part of the sentence. What is the first part of the sentence? 
Bring an injury expression test. P. Uh huh. Write an algebraic expression. P, P minus ten. P minus ten. Ah yes. So we should write P minus ten minus first, 10. right? Yeah. Uh, what did they say after that? Then after that, divide. Then then divide by Q. Ah uh, okay. So what should I write? Should I write divide by over. Q this way? No, over Q. Over. Okay. So the entire thing over, over Q yeah. is it? Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you. So um, I think you can try question 24 yourself. Then we... 25, you also can do it yourself. It's the same type. Now, question 26. We have some word problems now. Danish. Danish, you ready? Yeah. Oh, which Danish? Danish, Danish. No, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So Jesse has $21. Mike has X more than her. Who has more money? Danny. Yes, Jesse or Mike? 26. Sorry? Uh, Mike. Mike has more, right? Mike has how much more? Uh, X more. Very good. Okay, so how much does Mike have? Mike has X more uh, than Jesse. So how much does Mike have? 21x. 21x, huh? Is, is that oh, answer? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, huh? Okay, now, boys and girls, don't be stressed about algebra. If we say that Mike has, for example, let's change this to $3 more than Jesse, then what would your answer be for Mike? Danish. 24. Yeah, how do you get 24? Uh, 21 plus 3. 21 plus 3, you are absolutely right. Now, if we say that Mike has $30 more than her, then how much does Mike have? For, uh, 51. How did you get 51? Uh, 21 plus 30. Very good. If we change this to become 300, then how much does Mike have? 321. How do you get 321? 300 plus 31. Very good. What if we change this to become, let's say, um, oh. five cents? Then how much does Mike have? $21.05. How do you get $21.05? Plus the five cents. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to change this back to become X. So what is the answer? 21 plus X. Ah, do you see why it is 21 plus X now? Yeah. Okay, so what do you learn in this question? All right. <laughs> if you realize that hey, you're not very sure what is the final answer, what can you do to help yourself? Danish, what can you do to help yourself? Do we leave it as X or do we try some other different answer numbers? Try other different numbers. Yeah, try other different numbers so that you understand what is happening first. Then you change it back after you have confirmed the steps, okay? Next, question 27. So, um, Kyrie. Albert has 50 pens. He gave away K, K pens. So, find the number that he has left. So, Kyrie, what do you think is the answer over here? 50 minus K. 50 minus K, very good. Okay, now um, question 28, Fari. There are Y eggs in a tray. Find the total number of eggs in 15 such trays. So Y eggs in one tray. Huh? One tray, there are Y eggs. Two trays, we have two Y X. But now we have 15 trays. So how many X are there? 15 Y. Sorry? 15 Y. Very good. 15 times Y, which is just written as 15 Y. Yay. Good. Okay, so question 29, try yourself. 30 is the same. Oh, no, wait. Maybe I'll go through a bit about 30. Okay, so there are 15 postcards in a box. One box has 15 cards. Two boxes, we will have 
30 cards altogether. It's just 15 plus 15 or 15 times 2. Now we have we have a total of 6x boxes. So how many cards altogether? Mm. Yen Rei. Yen Rei. Yes. Yes, can you help us? So how many cards are there all together in 6x boxes? Do you need someone help? Yen Rei, do you need someone help? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, so listen carefully, huh? How many cards in one box? 15. How many cards in two boxes? 15. Two box. Oh, wait. Yeah. I don't need you to give me the number. I need you to give me the working. How many cards are there in two boxes? 15 times two. Very good. How many cards are there in three boxes? 15 times three. How many cards are there in 10 boxes? 15 times 10. How many cards are there in um, X boxes? 15 times X. Very good. How many cards are there in uh, Y boxes? 15 times Y. How many cards are there in 2X boxes? 15 times 2X. Very good. How many cards are there in 6X boxes? 6X. Uh, 15 times 6X. Do you understand what's happening now? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to write down what you said. 15 times 6x. Now you look at this carefully. Uh, 15 times 6x. So can we simplify this? Yes. Okay, what can we simplify? Are there some numbers that we can multiply together? What are the numbers that we can multiply together? 15 times 6x. Yeah. How many X's are there? 6X. Mm, only 6? Are you sure only 6? What does this say? Oh, 15. So is it 15X or 15 times 6 X's? 15... 15X. 15 mm, no, that's not what we are writing. We are writing 15 multiplied by 6 X. 15 multiplied by 6x. So, the rest of you pay attention also. Huh? This 6x can be written as 6 times x. Right? 6x is the same as 6 times x. Now, 15 times 6 times x. We can group the numbers together. We can do that first. It is just like me asking you to do 2 times 3 times 10. How will you do this? Yen Rei, how will you do this? 2 times 3 times 10. 2 times 3, then uh, the answer times 10. So you would take 6 times 10, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. How about this? 15 times 6 times x. What do we have? Do you need a calculator? Oh, yes. Do you have a calculator? No, in my no. bag. You come for math lesson, you didn't bring a calculator? Yeah, can I go take? You tell me what you want to multiply first. 15 times 6. 90. Yeah, then times x. Times x. Do we need to write times x or can we just write x? Uh, 90x. Very good. Then that's our answer. Okay, now next one. Question 31. After giving our paper clips to each of her four friends, 
Irene has five paper clips left. So how many did she have at the start? So make sure you understand the question. She has four friends. She gave each of them some paper clips. We don't know how many paper clips she gave. But after giving, she had five left. So how many did she have at the start? So let's see, yeah. Uh, got one, two, three, four people. She gave R to each of them. Okay, so this person gets R paper clips, R paper clips, R paper clips, R paper clips. And then she has how many left? Five left. Four, five. Okay, I'm trying to draw paper clips over here. So there are five left. All together, how many did she have at the start? Shazwan, can you help us? Yes, yes. Can you help us with this question? Four friends, each of them are paper clips. After she distributes, she had five left. So how many all together at the start? Um, are paper clips to each other. So um R divided by four, uh, then... Why, why R divided by four? Uh, because um, uh, you say that uh, the, she gives the um, paper clips, the R paper clips each to her friend, so one by one. One by one. So how many did each person get? Um, each person gets... Uh, So how much did each person get? Each person get. Sure, four times R plus five. John, how do you get four times R? Uh, four, because he has four friends. Uh. Each body got R. Uh, each person got R, okay. So Shazwan, there was an there was a an error in your understanding just now for the first sentence, for the first part. It says after giving R paper clips to each of her four friends. So each friend got R paper clips. Oh. It is not it is not that R paper clips divided by four people, okay? Oh, I didn't understand the question. Um, but now you read the first sentence again, you understand it. Yes. Okay, so uh, the answer is just 4R plus 5. That's okay. all that we have at the start. Okay, let me write down my paper. Okay, done. Okay, you can try question 32 yourself. Question um, 33, similar question. Hmm. Let's go with um, 34. Okay, we'll stop at question 34. Huh? So team spends T hours doing homework and S hours on revision every day. So what is the total time they spend on homework and revision in six days? In six days. So one day, he spends how many hours? Okay, uh, Zenis. One day is T plus S. Okay, Zenis. So one day, spend... T plus S hours. How about this question? It says six days. Six days. So spend how much? T plus S times six. Okay, T plus S times six. Is this how you want to write your answer? No. No, okay. How will we write our answer? T S times six. T S times six? Are you sure? Six. Six. Six comma T plus S. I think you mean bracket, huh? Six bracket T plus S. Close bracket, yes. That's that's what we are expecting. So six bracket T plus S. Mm, okay, I think I'll just complete the uh, question 35 with you first. Then you will try all the questions by yourself, huh? So Linda has 25 pens. She buys 2x more. Hmm. So uh, let's see. 
Brian, haven't called you yet. So Linda has 25 pens. She buys 2x more. How many does she have now? She has 25 pens and she buys 2x more. 25 times 2x. 25 times 2x? Mm, I don't think that's correct. Why times 2x? You don't get to choose plus minus times divide by yourself. It depends on the question. Okay, so let's change again. Uh, same strategy. If you're confused about 2x, just, just change it to some other number. Let's say 3. So Brian, Linda has 25 pence and she buys 3 more. How many does she have now? 28. How do you get 28? 25 plus 3. Okay, you plus 3. What if I change this 3 to 13? How many pens does she have now? 38. How do you get 38? 25 plus 13. Very good. How about if it is 133 more? 158. How do you get 158? 25 plus 133. You notice I'm not interested in your final answer. I'm interested in how you get the answer. So what if it is 2133 more? I don't want the final answer, I want the working. 25 plus 2133. Okay, what if I change this to become X? 25 plus X. What if I change this to 2X? 25 plus 2X. Can you do it by yourself? How many does she have now? 25 plus 2X. Yes, she has 25 plus 2X at the moment. But what happened? She gave away Y pens to each of N friends. How many pens does she have left? Okay, so, uh, Brian, are you ready? Are you ready for the next part? Oh, yeah. Yes, ah? Uh? Okay, she gave away Y pens to each, each to N friends. Let us change some of the numbers, huh? If it is not Y, okay, choose a number that you like. Brian. Uh, seven. Okay, let's say she gave away seven pens each to uh, how many friends does she have? N. N, okay. Choose, change it to a number that you are comfortable with. 10. 10, over oh, wow. 10 friends. Huh? Okay. So do you understand what's happening now? She has 25 plus 2x pen. She gave away 7 pens each to 10 friends. So how many did she give away altogether? 7 times 70. Gave away? I'm not interested in the number. Give me the working. 7 times 10. 7 times 10, yeah? Okay, what if it is not 10 friends? What if it is um, 2 friends? Only 2 friends. Then how? How many seven did she time, give away? 7 times 2. Okay, 7 times 2. Now, what if we change it back to the original? It says N friends. So how many did she give away? 7 times N. Okay, good. 7 times N. <clears throat> now, we, we don't want 7 pens anymore. Let's say it is 70 pens. So how many did she give away? 70 times N. Okay, I think you get it already. So now she gave away Y pens to N friends. So how many did she give away? Y times N. Very good. Well, she gave away Y times N. But do we want to write it as Y times N? Uh, no. No, okay. So what do we want to write it as? Y N. Okay, very good. So, she had 25 plus 2x, she gave away yn. So, how many did she have left? Uh, 25 plus 2x minus yn. Excellent! 25 plus 2x minus yn. And that's all that we are going through for this uh, lesson. Using the remaining time, go and re-attempt the ACE learning the same quiz again. I have assigned it to all of you again.
Okay, are there any questions? No. No. no? Okay, I just show you off as huh? Um, stop recording.